Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day 29 of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. Not to be confused with Mr. O.C.'s Royal Rumble challenge. 29. 29. 29. Aren't you heal? But I suppose this sort of question would be best served in talking about how the genre has evolved. And... I think one of the main sources of change has been the un has been unification of mechanics. Nowadays, the whole the whole separate mechanic kind of thing, or or individual systems for each that operate on their own without a whole lot of connectivity, that's something that's n more of a thing in miniatures games nowadays than it is in role playing games. That's not to say it doesn't happen in role-playing games. I've already reviewed at least one game that does it. It's just not as commonplace. I don't know if this was because of the D20 system in 2000, but it wouldn't be. But it does seem like that's the focal point for this little paradigm shift. I'm sure it could be argued that we're in the middle of a paradigm shift about game about games being more accessible or more based on narrative. I don't quite agree with that. I think that's one that's born out of D&D 5th Edition's move towards accessibility, even if they kind of botched it. It's not exactly one that's reflective of the wider genre. That said, if there's anything that possibly caused that whole, that whole narrativist shift, it would most likely be Apocalypse World. But I'd say the only I'd say the only thing that Apocalypse World did when it came to a massive narrative shift was the introduction of its use of playbooks. Even then, the playbook concept is a little too specific. No, I'd say if anything caused a current paradigm shift, it's a shift towards the rising popularity of virtual tabletop programs, Roll Twenty, Fantasy Grounds, um, D Twenty Pro, the more recent Astral. These are the ways that people are being able to connect with role-playing more often than it used to be. This is why you end up seeing more streams on the matter. And yes, I will admit a little bit of hypocrisy given the fact that I have lambasted the streamer bubble, yet I run, yet I run RPG streams and I've done so for three years. Now, actual play, which is what this is kind of an evolution of, is nothing new. I, rem I remember I remember listening to podcasts where people would be recording that kind of thing. That was how I first found out about PvP when they did a when they in were involved with Penny Arcade and did one. Plus, there's been plenty of um, of com of comics and the like that are trying to reflect they're trying to reflect the gameplay and the true D and D movie in Darkness Rising. What does concern me about the trend, however, is that I feel like a lot of people are taking the wrong lessons from watching these streams. Or, in some cases, they're, get, they're getting the wrong impression about what, about what these kind of games are. Because the ultimate problem that I have with, I'd say, 60-80% to 80 of RPG streamers these days, especially the 5th edition streamers, is... Placing such an emphasis on story that it's almost like the mechanics are not even a factor, and even though they pretend that they are. But because of the fact that they're doing this to such a wide audience, it's presenting the impression that this is how they end up playing. And as a result, they end up coming to my table, and then they have to unlearn the matter. What I'd like to see more of, and something that I've tried my best to facilitate in my own way, is the actual teaching of how these are going to be played and how various types are going to be played, so that it's not a one-size-fits-all problem. I think if more people were doing that, we wouldn't have the quote-unquote Mercer effect, which I know Ask a Pathfinder likes to claim isn't a thing, but it is. It very much is, much in, the sa much in the same way that there were so many people trying to be AVGN ripoffs ten years ago. But if I take any lesson out of this, it's that 
evolving does not necessarily mean good. It just means it just means certain things are changing or being introduced. This idea that the that this current batch of streamers is the new face of tabletop gaming is something that I find to be offensive. Because the way I see it, a lot of these cases are simply riding a trend. And if this sounds like gatekeeping, well, I refer you to the musing that I did several months ago on a defense of gatekeeping. At least partially. 